Well, hi guys, Emma again. Welcome back to Spare Room. This was a video I was going to try and get out in the next little while, but I ended up changing my technique a bit on this. I was going to buy a decent set of diamond hones from Eternal Tills in the UK or something like that. And if you have a look at eternaltools.co.uk, you'll see that that's a fairly capital expenditure. And they'd be nice, but Clickspring Chris over on Clickspring channel. I guess you've, I know a lot of you watch his channel and the rest of you should. He made up some homes with some emery paper, just laps that didn't look like they'd cost a lot to make so we might just make a set of them instead and pirate his idea completely it's a really quite a good idea I've been down to big, big block hardware and I've bought some dressed um, 30 by 8 hardwood this is I guess you call it Victorian ash or Taz oak or whatever you want to call it and I've marked it at 300 mil intervals. Worked that out basically by getting a tape and measuring the side of a piece of emery tape and discovering it's about 225 mil. So that leaves enough for a handle and writing on what kit it is. And I marked 300. These were 1200 mil lengths. So I can get four out of each one. So first job is to chop them off with a saw. Now it is pretty warm here in Queensland. And I've spent most of the weekend just cleaning up. And bear in mind that woodwork really isn't my strongest point but I'm managing to cut these boards into four separate bits so next job is to give them a bit of a clean up just on the ends not the squares down the sides when that's done, I've just got four sheets of wet and dry, which is probably plenty enough. We've got 180. We've got 1200 there, P1200, 1200 grit. The next one's 800 grit. Looks like I've got an extra sheet of that. And C60. And the 180. I can never ever find a roll of masking tape when I need it. And there must be five rolls here because every time I've needed it for a project in the last 12 months I've gone and bought a roll. I've bought a roll of masking tape. We're going to run some masking tape down each side. We'll turn him over and line this up nicely on the edge like so. We need to scroll down this side here. So I've just done what Chris has done. I've got an exacto knife and use the back side of it. And folded it. And done the same.
So it's probably going to do the job. It's got a bit of a bulge there. We're going to have to be a bit more careful with the next one. And we get our faithful label maker out. So here's a trick, leave plenty of tape to wrap around to start with, otherwise it moves. Another one, we'll make another label. These label makers are older technology. I've got a couple of them, which is probably no surprise to most of my friends. But the main reason being is that you can pick them up at the garage sales for like three dollars or a dollar with a roll of label in them because everyone sort of gone to a, a more modern labelling system. What I have discovered here is that I've used another offcut that was laying about on the bench instead of the one I had in mind, so I will make up a 2000 grip one. But there you go. I guess trial and error and use will determine whether they're really much good. They do have a fairly nice square edge, which I don't know how long that'll last. And the nice flat surface, they've got decent handles. They're probably not a bad looking thing. Whether they'll measure up to a decent set of diamond laps from a from a good finishing supplier, I don't know. I'm thinking they probably won't last that long, but what have they cost me? The two bits of wood, which was enough to make eight, cost me $4.60 Australian. The sheets of glass paper cost me about 90 cents each, which is another four bucks. The label maker cost me, I think it was a freebie for someone bought it at a garage sale for me. The roller masking tape cost a $2.10. So we've got a total of about 10 bucks for four reusable emery sticks that probably won't be a bad thing for getting a good finish on, on turn parts. So that's my take on, on one of ClickSpring's videos. It wasn't as quick and easy as it looked, but certainly there's an idea that's got a lot of potential. So thanks for watching guys and more soon. I just thought I'd share that. If I don't upload before Christmas, well have a great one.